Well, good morning and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. If this is the first time you've been to the channel, go check out some of our playlists and videos and click that subscribe button. I'm sure there's something here for everyone. Today, on this Jeep Grand Cherokee, we are going to change out the front differential fluid. I've already done the rear differential and the transfer case and it started raining on me, so I had to put the front differential off for another day and that day has come and uh, we had a nice little cold front come through a uh, cool front but uh, summer is back so hopefully I can get this done before it gets to the point to where we're sweating bullets so the first thing I'm gonna do is put this thing in off-road two and get it lifted up off the ground so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start it up you see my sunshade up there that comes from that comes from M Car Covers. They're the company that sent me the car cover, and they also have these. And uh, we're gonna do a video later on about those, and I can save you 15% off on those. Uh, but that's a video for another day. Right now, let's get this thing put into off-road uh, two. Okay, let's go to the suspension. And you see we're in normal ride height. And down here, we are going to push the up button all the way till it's in the highest setting. See it's flashing, that means it's going up. And that tells you that it's raising. You also have a flashing light on the dash that shows you that it's going up. Takes it just a little bit. The last light is flashing here. That says we're in off road two. That says we're in off road two, so we're as high as we're going to go. Should make it a little bit easier getting the skid plate off and getting to the front differential. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is drop this skid plate. And we've got a, a half inch bolt here and back here. And there's probably going to be two in the back. And let me see. Looks like this one is actually missing one. Sure is. I need to find one and put it in here. And there's a slot here, so these will slide, loosen and slide forward. So let's get this dropped and we should be able to access that differential easier. It's like I need to get a water hose underneath here and spray some dirt off. Okay, you can see the two half inch bolts going up through the back of the plate right there. We're going to loosen those and uh, that plate will just drop right out of there. Okay, so the skid plate's off, and you're looking at the front differential, and here's your drain hole, and there's your fill hole, 8 millimeter Allen, just like the rear, and uh, we're going to take the, front, the top one off, the fill one off first, and then we'll take the bottom one off, that way if we have any problems with the top one, we'll still have fluid in here, and it's uh, able to drive. So we're going to take the top one off, then the bottom one, let it drain, put the bottom back in, refill it, and put the top in, and it's good to go. Of course, we're going to get the power sprayer underneath here, and we're going to clean it up nice. I always inspect everything while I'm under here. And... Everything that I can see looks good. All right, let's get out underneath here, get our drain pan, and I'll drain this. Okay, we've got the front differential plugs out. 
And it's already about run out, but you can tell that was a whole lot cleaner than what the rear was. In fact, that looks almost new. I could have got by without changing that. But we got it drained. We're going to go ahead and plug it back up and put the new in it. So I've got both plugs back in. You may not can see it from here, but there in, I can see the drain plug from here. And uh, you can see there's some gear oil still on there but i've got my power sprayer out my electric power sprayer i've been using this thing for years and it's been really good uh the, which one is this one the green works so yeah it's been really good and i got soap in there i'm gonna put spray underneath there and clean all that up real good everything i see and i'm gonna spray off my i'm gonna spray off my skid plate and then I'm gonna go find another bolt for the front of the skid plate because I was missing one and I will be using thread lock when I put them back in that way we won't be losing another one I hope okay the skid plates back up I did locate another bolt to put up in this front corner so if I hadn't changed that differential fluid myself I might not have noticed that that bolt was gone I did lock tight those up in there, so hopefully they won't come back out unless I want them out. I did power spray everything up underneath there. Try to take it easy on the electronic areas, but it should be a lot cleaner now. All right, so I've got the Jeep Grand Cherokee back in normal ride height. And uh, the front differential oil changes our gear change is done. I've got the rear gear change done and the transfer case is done. So this thing's ready for its trips we have coming up as soon as it gets a little bit cooler. And uh, we got some summer heat here. Got the OC sunshade in by M Car Covers. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link where you can save 15% off on that if you're wanting one. But we're going to do a video on that shortly. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but that actually velcros behind your mirror and uh, I've actually covered my mounts that I leave in the window. A lot of people won't have those and I don't even have to put the visors down to hold it up there if you're using the velcro around the mirror. I mean you can if you want to, but there's really no sense in it. Really nice to keep the, the sun out of here. We'll do more in depth video on that soon but yeah we're ready for our adventure glad i got all the fluids changed i did the oil change earlier so that was already done and uh, i'm good to go the only thing i haven't changed is that transmission and uh, it's not due to be changed right now so we're ready for adventure